Hello friends, my name is Smish and welcome back to Pathologic uh, 2 Part 3. Um, uh, so in the last episode we've performed our first surgery, we realized everybody hated us for absolutely I don't know what reason, they just continuously kept hating me as I was running around. Um, and uh, so we're uh, now getting into the nitty gritty of it, which is really good, so it's less confusing than that first part where I had no idea what was going on. So I'm really excited to jump back into this episode. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Don't judge me, but I'm gonna buy the moo cow, okay? I don't know- Hi, who are you? What do you want? Hi. Uh, so you were trained surgeon. Good, that is good. Shame that you esteemed degree is of no help to me. Why- why is that? What do you need, Gramps? Uh, I don't have a degree. Uh, why is that? The kin has not accepted you yet. You are Broca's son, but sharing blood is not enough. Supposedly, you are a uh, Minku by birth, but in truth, you aren't. Uh, you went away to study who knows where, leaving your people behind. Old folks don't appreciate that. Will the kin accept you at all, Minku? Uh, does that word mean anything to anyone still? Uh, I'm not a stepman, but I don't know... But I do know that among you, your lot, only menkins can, menkus can become butchers, wise men, or surgeons because they know the lines. Is that what you call it? The art of understanding the world? The lines? Yes. The lines, those are ancient beliefs of a dying people. No one, really, you look like a step person to me. Then who are, yes, the lines. And that's why you and I have nothing to talk about yet. You may know how to wield a scalpel, but you don't know the lines. And, and in this town, no one could would trust you to cut a body before you comprehend the world's design. So you can't help me. Who are you anyways? I am there. I have a business, an unusual one. Your father used to deliver certain goods to me. Now I can... Now I came to ask back Griff. He's abandoned after all the law onto himself, but turns out he's too lily-livered to cross a particular boundary. What kind of business? You must be asking the wrong then. I know Griff must be asking wrong then. I know Griff since he were your kids. There's no pain. I buy blood and organs, body components, human components. For what? Uh, you're no menku. Wouldn't understand. Forget it. Show me where you live. I want to talk about the kin more. Cool. Well, I mean, I have blood. I mean, I don't think that there's much of a point in doing it right now, but that's fine. What am I, uh, stuff at? I know I'm fucking exhausted. Apparently I'm hungry still? Fuck me. My god, man. You're just always constantly hungry, aren't you? Here, have something nice to drink. Thank you. Do I have any bottles? I have one empty bottle, so I'll leave that for right now. Okay, so we're gonna go buy the bull, then we're gonna go to that creature thing. That is be our game plan. I don't know why I want the moo cow, okay? I just do. I just want the moo cow. I can't help myself. Must go buy the moo cow. Gonna go buy the moo cow. What shall I name my moo cow? Let's see. Hmm, Ferdinand is just too easy because of, you know, the movie and the stuff and the whatnot. So we're not going that route. Hmm. I'm gonna call him Sir Thimble. I'm gonna go buy Sir Thimble. Yes, I am gonna go buy Sir Thimble. Don't know why, but I want to go buy Sir Thimble, the moo moo cow. <gasps> there he is, Sir Thimble. Hi, can I have Sir Thimble? I do. Gimme. I will bring to doorstep. Fair enough. I don't have a doorstep. I can't walk around with a bull after all. Have a door step. Then I'll bring it to you when you find one. Uh, if I find one, how will you know where to find the place uh, from the bull? Thank you. Uh, hi, Sir Thimble. Can I pet you? Hi. Can I? I'm just gonna pretend like I'm petting you. Pet, pet, pet. I have Sir Thimble. So I bought the moo cow. We're gonna go. I'm gonna try and go over here to the bizarre creature thing. And I'm gonna kind of try to avoid people in hats, because they seem to be the assholes that just really want to fucking punch me. I have to go find a mysterious creature, apparently. There's a boulder in my way! 
I'm hated everywhere. This is not news. Thank you for telling me. Everybody hates me. This I know. Yes. Am I close to the mysterious creature? Oh, okay. I gotta go this way between the buildings. Hopefully. There's not another rock in my way. Hello? Mm, not sure about this, but okay. Ah! No! Please don't tell me it was too late! Her scream, the poor thing, it must have hurt terribly. She could, could she have been a person? Clay, don't scream. What have you done? It wasn't us, she already burning when we came here. We tried to save her, but failed. Yes, I saw your valiant attempts. Who was it? Hell if I know, I, they think it was the Clay Winch, the one who killed the old man. God damn it. You! Why? Why? God damn it, why? There's some big ass bones. Those bones don't make sense. What the fuck was she, a goddamn dinosaur? God damn it! Oh, nothing but fucking superstitious assholes. God damn. Burned an innocent goddamn woman. For what? She thought she was made out of fucking clay. Well, better go fucking find Reuben. Maybe he's not burning people. That'd be good. But you, are you burning people? Hi. Is this your money, sir? I think you dropped it. I have no use for money. Not It does not buy. Of course it is. Is this some kind of test of character? Save money, sir. You'll need it. I'm an optimist, see? You sure about that? I don't know what to do with it, given the circumstances. An optimist, I see. Alas, today is not the day for comrades. Suspicious folk from out of town are outlawed, but there's a shop that deals with stolen loot, uh, stood among the warehouses, trade, and all sorts. No regards for reputation. You may find uh, use there. Uh, you think so? Uh, just kind of a place where I'm looking for. You think so? Should you restore your reputation, sir, would you then wish to seek its ruin anew with theft and robbery? No, of course you wouldn't, but trust in trade, uh, for coins cannot recall the whence they came. Indeed, they are man's best friend. I prefer to barter. That's what I need. Thanks, man in black. Oh, thank you for money. I appreciate it. Is that like a dollar? That's okay. That's fine. That's nice. At least you're not burning fucking people. Oh my god. I don't know which house is Reuben's house. Is this Reuben's house? Uh, this is not Reuben's house. It is a house, I think. One day I might be able to find up stuff. What? What the clothes do? Hi. Open and not open. What is this weird? I don't understand this. Let's leave. So we'll go back to open. Can I still have this propaganda poster? Hi. Bartery, bartery, trade and trade. Hi. I guess. You am too suspicious. You will too run trade with me. Son of a fuck. This is funny. Clothes. I'm a doctor. I need... Oh, hi, kid. What do you got? Hi. Uh, do you still have a name? Yes, I believe. Yes. Uh, father threw his out. He's faceless now. Makes him kind of sad. Why did he do that? I bet it does. Cheer up. Faces and names are only fiction. I guess he did something bad. I wonder what. Or, so or something good. That's how it usually goes. I really? You don't know for sure because he can't tell now. Uh, of course, he understood something very important. Oh! Thank you. Hey! Good! 
Ooh, you have you have these. I need these. Thank you. Um, here's some nuts and this. Uh, that's all you want, and that's fine. I can't help it. I fucking need. Here you go. Oh, okay. Ever so slowly. I'm helping with the kid. The kids will trust me. Ugh. Hey, what do you what do you want? You look weird. Hello? What are you holding him? Are you still holding Sir Thimble's head? I just bought him! I don't- I didn't do anything. You can protect yourself. Why did you run then? You shouldn't look either. What- what, have, what do you have there? I brought my bones here. Why? I won't explain to you. I did nothing wrong. I just brought my bones here, and that's and what's wrong with that? These bones are mine. I didn't steal them. I, uh, I'm, I'll tell the, the truth, sir. Nothing. You should be more careful with your bones. You're acting strange, and people rarely appreciate that. Strange is so. What? So what's so strange about that? There are strange ones. People don't usually toy around with a bull skull. Uh, come to think of it, it it isn't. So go ahead, do whatever you want. I will not. I I believe you, uh, but I still think you should leave. Thank you. I guess. I don't know. You're just standing with a skull, that's okay. You know what? You do you, boo. I I saw somebody burn, so I don't not really judging here. Uh not not really at all. Is this the house I got to go into? No. No, it's got to be this one then. Okay. Um and it trash cans or anything? No. Okay. That's fine. This way! Hello! Ooh, I can go up on the stairs. They'll know. And they'll know. Eh, no. Oh, he must live in, like, an apartment complex. Hmm, is it the one with the wide-ass open door? Probably. Reuben! Hi, Reuben. Reuben, I'm looking through your things. Don't mind me. I just... It's for a good cause, okay? I'm I'm a doctor. I need to help humanity. I do so by taking things people don't care about. Hi. Right. I'm gonna go in this door. <gasps> Save point! Yes! Ooh, hi. Hi, Reuben. This damn rain. There's Will no rain. End? But what are you talking about? The climate here is in chaos. You must live in the, um, the Midwest. Uh, well, one thing is clear. You're a very, very lucky man, which means you need to take care of yourself. You're so careless. It's, uh, Army Vok, right? Uh, Ber Berka. Oh, Bachelor. Apologies. Oh, and may I ask, is it true that your actions have already resulted in four deaths? I'm not in the habit of spilling guts to strangers, especially three. Especially when they can't even remember my own name. That's what I thought. Who the hell are you, buddy? Dan and Burkle, uh, Bachelor of Medicine at your service. But before we speak any further, I'd like to clarify a rather crucial thing. Just how highly do you hold your sense of duty? Too highly, clearly, since it brought me back to this wretched town. Why do you ask? All Burkins are guided by duty. It runs in the family. Well, from this point, you, ahem, oh me, I just saved you from a rather gas grisly fate. I don't remember seeing a rescue team. Your Reuben has utterly murderous intents. Isdor meant quite a lot to him. Your father was his mentor. Reuben even considers himself Old Burker's true son, unlike you. Anyway, he thinks you're to blame for your father's death. What a load! Uh, I managed to convince him that you didn't actually kill Isdor, well, not uh, empirically, but I'm under the impression that, in Reuben's mind, you still caused your father's death. You did, after all, take your sweet time getting here while Isdor was counting on your help. Is that true? It is. I've thought about that myself. No, it's not. I, And I sense some foul play in your uh, valiant attempt to save me from my best friend, trying to guilt trip me, huh? 
Look, you have my condolences, Volka, but since we've established that you owe me, let me explain how you will pay your debt. Things are about to get a little tense, and I need only one thing. Just do exactly as I tell you. You're a doctor, right? Uh, how are these things... How are things going to get tense? I'm a surgeon, and a good one. Allow me to sum up. Reuben told me that he's the only decent doctor in town, but you're a competent surgeon. I need you alive, healthy, and quiet. Close at hand. Spare me any wild imp uh, improvis uh, um, improvisations. I'll be the one handling the situation. Medicum morbo uh, blah blah. How do you just... How about you just shut up? I'll deal with Reuben myself. No middlemen required. I always sucked at the stupid la at, at this stupid language. Uh... I, I, I need to see if you're good first. For now, cheers. Gone to carry out my orders. From now on, your Reuben, your Reuben does what I tell him to do. He entered my service of his own accord. I suggest you do the same. It will help everyone. I just hate big city dandies who think that they know best. Stubbornness is my guiding star. Second only to my sense of duty, I suggest you put your high intelligence to good use and get out of my way, bachelor. Fine, whatever. Oof. Yeah, I'm totes exhausted and apparently, like, fucking ravenously hungry. I have a decent amount of money, that's good. Um, can I sleepy in this bed? How do I sleepy in bed? Open. Hi! Weird ass fucking room. Ooh, hi. What's with the, the skull in the cage? I'm so confused. Hi. I just. How do I bed? I don't know how to sleep in bed. It won't let me. Where is bed that I can sleep in? Sir! Do you know where I can sleepy in Betty? Oh my god. Ah! Hi, kids. How are you? You're the man everyone's after, right? You look like the description. No, I, I'm not, and I don't. The one and only. What's the description? You know, big, fat, dangerous, with bulgy eyes, weird legs, scary mug, stupid looking face. That must be you. Thanks, kid! At least I know what I look like now. Really? Well, whatever. It's good that we found you. We need help. Oh, uh, what for? Uh, we need to hold the trial for a murderer, and we can't do that without you. Will you help? The fastest judge in town is camping in Reuben's palace. Go see him. Cheers. Hold the trial. The kids play funny games. What, you, you've caught a murderer? Or is it, or was it the murderer? Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Will you come? Um, uh, well, if you're telling the truth, then I'm, then, then I'm in luck. The courthouse is a warehouse. One with the little flags. Hurry up and they'll be starting soon. Warehouse with little flags. I'll remember. Seems like the kids took over the old place. Uh, you'll figure it out. I'm bad judge. Hi, thank you. Hi, right, can I talk to you? Uh, so what? Is the asshole still there? The one with the carpet bag? Uh, watch your tongue, boy. I don't agree with you. He's in there. I hereby grant you every right to throw something at him if you so desire. But where's Dr. Reuben? We need doctor. Uh, Reuben isn't here, kids. We get zero Reubens left in stock. Dandy is a doctor. Well-trained when I suspect. I'm a doctor. What's the issue? There's been a disaster. Alma and Duke and Wolfie were poisoned. Where the... Where are they? In a warehouse with the little flags. Go down the railroad. Uh, uh, lead the way. Can't... We need to go to the drug house to find bones and a whistle and a shovel. Or not gonna bite our heads off. You'll find a place on your own. Easy bones and a whistle. Are you? Are your cure for poison? Well, good luck with that. Uh, I know. I uh, I will. Thank you. Fuck me, but I need to rest. How am I gonna? Where do I sleep at? God damn. Oh man. Oh, this is not good. At the very least, I'm hydrated. I just want to find a bed. Oh my god. That's such a difficult, difficult request. Where the fuck am I? God damn it, I'm just zoring all over the goddamn place. Motherfucker. Uh, I, I need to find somewhere to sleep. I would go to my dad's house, but I'm worried about the kids. Fuck me. You know what, we're just gonna start running. 
Hopefully this doesn't work on my exhaustion or anything. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Your house with the little flags. Okay. Oh, okay. This one? No. It must be on the other side of this wall. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. With the little flag. Little flag! Here we go. Oh, please let there be a bed or something in here. Where do I sleep at besides apparently my own house? Ooh, hi. This is cute. Hi. Are you the one that's poisoned? Look! See everyone? The doctor is here. Who, who, who is sick? You're too late. They died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor are you? Three kids are dead? No one gives a damn? Not kids. Worse. They were our dogs. Who poisoned them? Somebody evil. 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 Uh, Nunkin's planning on holding a trial. He wanted, he wanted you there too. At least they made it in time for the trial. Not all is lost. Back! It's still bad that the doggies died. I That traitor, L Lika, saw you this morning, by the way. How are you... How you got off the train and beat those thugs to a pulp. I... So I have a living, breathing witness. Well, I hope he turns up to be the undying legend of the song where he's grown up. Who's Lika? He killed Duke Wolfie and Alma, and can, it will punish him for it. Don't you need to make sure that he's the real culprit first? I'm speaking from experience here. You. Dandy. Knives, scissors, blades, razors, anything sharp. If you've got, a, if you've got an axe, I'm interested. Getting armed and ready? Uh, what, uh, I've got a scalpel. Those items are what I barter for. We need them. And what do you need the, some sharp objects for? Lock picking shivs. Um, if, you, if you're if you handy with locks, you can open three or four uh, doors with it. Brand new. And needles, good for smaller locks, like locks. So you trade needles for knives? Strange. Oh, and so you're... Oh, so you aren't local and we aren't allowed razors. If they catch us, they'll be... Uh, will be granted for a year, might even get spanked. Nice try with the bullshit. I'm not buying it. Razors aren't only forbidden objects, sharp objects. So where'd you get all those pins that uh, you break into a tailor shop? Sure, a train full of needles derailed outside my window. Happy now? Why do you care? It was, we bought her with, we don't have pins anymore. Uh, we've outgrown them. You're all grown up, aren't you? Well, listen, kid, I only butchers are allowed cutting tools. Got it? Scissors for needles. Good trade deal. Somewhere to sleep? Be cool? If only we had a Troy, we'd ride it down the rails away from this place. Uh, you're here. Good. The trial can begin. Go on, but who is accused these... Who is the, the accused kids? Shouldn't you at least present them to me? Question. A question first. They saw your no son of old Burka. He was a doctor. He saved lives. It said that you killed instead. Is that true? Ah, so that's who is accused here. I am Burka. I have no doubt. Is what true? That this town is full of gossips and rummages? Ah... Answer the question, please. Are you a murderer? No. I may have killed- no. And listen to the idle chatter is no good. Killing is not necessarily murder. This is true. Calm down, no need to be defensive, or are you uncomfortable doing this in front of us- of my souls and halves? Aren't you cheeky? Don't calm down me. Uh, you're the one who put me on trial. Aren't you cheeky? Cheeky or not, this isn't a game. We're talking about something important here. I'm all yours. Then stop trying to get under my skin, boy. Consider how they paint me as a dangerous man. I'm all yours. Tell me, is it right to kill? We have to know 
what you believe. Old Burka wasn't just a doctor to us. He was a teacher. He knew how, how to live. You say that you are a son and that you're to take his place and answer is murder acceptable. It's right to kill someone who's preying on the weak and defenseless to take revenge against those who deserve it only in self-defense, only to protect loved ones. No, killing is never right. Never forget that. I mean, B and C can be correct. We're not fucking Batman, so it's not A. I mean, but if we're thinking in real world logistics, and it's you versus somebody who's just trying to kill you, and you've done nothing, then yes, self-defense. And if it something happens and they die, no, it is not your fault. And then second, if you stumble into an uh, like you know your house, and somebody is trying to murder somebody that you love and care about, and you do something, and it results in that per in the person who is attempting to murder your loved one's death, that is also not your fault. The actions of others are not your fault. We got to think about it, I guess, in terms of this game. Save someone you love. What's with the frown? You're thinking about your father, aren't you? Yes, I am. So murder can be right sometimes. Are you planning on killing? It's not about me, it's about us. My soul and halves always hang together. Answer the question. Take your time if you need. You may well be choosing your fate. Yes. Good. We now know what kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. So you know me, huh? That was quick. Guess I should talk to you if uh, I'm ever confused. Whoa! Am I... Ha! Oh, thank God. Welcome to the machine. Only rats live here. Oh, yay! I'm up to nobody gives a shit about me. That's good. I'm glad. I'm okay with this. Cool. Can I find a fucking bed? Actually, what I need to do is I need to go to that grocer and I need to get food. Ah! Stop running up on me! <sighs> Master says you're doing well. He said with each hour, fewer and fewer people think he's a murderer. He said, tell him that I want to talk. Let him... Come to the lump right away, your master? Big Vlad! Oh, I'm the ski. Okay. Uh, he's summoning you. You must go. No dawdling, he said. Uh, true, Big Vlad. Call as you come. Okay. Stop scaring me, by the way. Can I trade with you? No! I need to find a bed! My god! I guess I need to go quickly back to my house. Fuck me. Nope, I need to- I think I need to quickly get to my, like, my dad's house, because I- mm, I th It's the only place I can think of that's a bed, and oh my god, I'm about to ready to pass out from exhaustion. Maybe now that nobody gives a shit about me, they won't try and fucking beat the shit out of me as I walk places. Nobody cares about me? Does that mean people will trade with me? Ooh, ask for a repair? What? What, what am I repairing? Oh, not enough resources. How fucking neat. Did you leave her alone? They'll know. How, how they curse in midair, mumbling mind. Did you do this? No, it was twer addled mob. The step in bloom, and people will be crazed, but never. What? Why a step girl? Old wives' tale, they claim golems sometimes emerge from the ground and they look like a woman, but it's all earth, clay, rock, marrow. The story claims that the legs and bones of this uncanny are, uh, and the brides, you know, they have a special walk, too. It's not a walk, it's a dance! In the morning, people screamed about step abomination and it has left no fingerprints and had, no, and had bones for legs. Not, but now look, it's only a girl, a step girl, sure, but alive. What bones? You can't plainly see a, see that on a normal girl. 
don't you know how it goes? Getter, one screams, and the rest of the crowd, without hesitation, especially in the night, especially with their minds intoxicated. Not everyone... People scream like that often around here. You've been listening, lad? I'm telling you, this is the first time in the world, indeed. Can't believe my eyes. Poor thing. Guessing this is my house. Mm -hmm. Hi. Go back way into my house. Back. I don't want to lay down. Hi. Can I help you? You don't look so happy. You must have come from the hospital. Why are you covered in blood? I fell downstairs. Who are you? That's not important. Who are you? That's important. I'm Brooker's old son. What I want to know is, why are you covered in blood? That's none of your business. Haven't you seen the streets? Haven't you seen what the streets are like? What's wrong with you, kid? Whatever. But I'll remember you. Likewise. Nice meeting you. Sticky. My advice, kid. Watch your tongue. Hi. People. Person in coat. Hi. There, locked shut. I won't let anyone in. Not that I object. Trust is in order, so is that an order? And so and so it was ordered. What are you all waiting for? Me? Our house was locked? Who ordered that? It's for the of course the governor. I see, so the house is off limits. So your broker son then, the one who left that town long ago, you missed him by hours. Guess that wasn't in the cars. Couldn't have been gotten here yesterday. Everything would have been alright. And yet, I have returned. Crowd's gone mad, like frightened children, so eager to catch someone, anyone, and no idea who. Some say that they are outsiders, Shabak, and when it hits home, people are dragging clay in depths and memory. So, why an outsider? Who else? And the Shabak, honestly, you're hardly better than the pack of children. Shabak, uh, anything is step legends. I know about that. Well, it may be the killer with Shabak. Who else? The person who could have done it. Maybe. His door was a man, not a man. Men must not kill men, and so men do not kill men, at least not in this town. They don't, obviously. They do now. Uh, no, how do I sleep? Oh my god, what the fuck am I supposed to do? How do I sleep in this goddamn game? It's my whole goal. Fuck me. Huh? I'm unwelcome. Fuck you. How do I sleep? Oh my god, I just want- I just- <laughs> Okay, friends, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, I watched somebody burn to death. I couldn't save dogs, so, oh, god damn it, we're getting into the emotional part of this game. Um, also, I have no idea where to sleep, so I have no, hopefully I can figure that out before this shit ends up getting here. Um, well, if you like this episode, please hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, please hit the dislike button, because honesty is always the best policy. And I hope that I will be able to see you all in the next video. Bye, mees!